Hi guys, welcome to Cowcast, where we cast on Wednesdays. I am your host, Coffee Cow, and today we have with us... Uh, Rage Cow. Angel, do you mind taking that down? I did. Okay. What is up, guys? How is everyone? Mad. Mad. You mean... Ra- no, 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 no. Raging? No, I'm past that. I'm past <laughs> that stage. You probably got, like... You forgot to record it or something. I see. Well, we we did actually record that part. We'll probably include it before this. <laughs> I'm joking. If you don't want to include it, it's cool. No, we won't. No, no, I don't mind. <laughs> they need to know. They need to know the true rage cow. No, I was, I was talking about, you know, the people I was dueling. They yeah. Yeah, you were raging, bro. They need to know my rage. Oh, they need to know. <laughs> Alright, um, um, um. Yeah. Wait, I forgot what I was going to say. Damn it. All right, carry on. All right, so um, I you know what I want to start on this topic because I don't think uh I don't think we've covered it yet. What I want to talk about is uh books. What like books interest you guys? I know for sure Otaku will have a swift answer to this, but like just you know any general book and any like what genre books do you like to read if you read any, and um and like what's your favorite book i'd say so we'll start with uh itaku i guess oh all right come on i like manga books obviously <laughs> and my genre <laughs> <laughs> oh manga books <laughs> all right yeah and my favorite genre is oh that's hard there's a lot of genres. Um, uh, I, I'll talk for him. He likes r- romance. <laughs> that is actually true. Oh my Roman- god! Manga. That's actually pretty good. To- so, d- does it interest you? Um, just the story development of a particularly of romance uh, manga, or is it just is it just fun to read? Oh wow, nice answer. Okay. You're welcome. Oh, all right, I'll go. I'll go. Um, hey, I haven't said my favorite book. I don't know what you're doing. No, 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 it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. You have your chance. Guys, people, people, Jesus, you never had. People don't want to listen to this crap. This is arguing. Let's not. Let's exclude that as much as possible. Not my fault. Of course, it's not my fault. Otaku, <laughs> give your favorite Where? book. Oh, my favorite book. Oh, oh. What was that? <laughs> my favorite book. That's a hard one. Let's just go to rage. <laughs> <laughs> rage is eating, by the way. Okay. <laughs> Well, how about like if you were to narrow it down to ju- to just three books, could you do that? You can't even yeah, pick yeah. one. How can you pick three? I can pick three. I can, but actually. you can't. Oh, uh, I can actually. All right, go then. No, go. Can... All right, first is Nigima, second is Tool of Rude Darkness, and then third is. <sighs> Oh, nice book. Fruits basket. There you go. Happy. Ah, I I remember um seeing that in the bookstores. Fruits basket. It looks kind of funny. You <laughs> serious? Gonna... Which one? Um, I I saw the first volume. I was I didn't buy it though. I wasn't really into the into it when I read like the first few oh, pages. I Sorry, <laughs> I missed out. I guess. Huh. No, not you. I did. Okay. Oh, you missed out. Yeah, it's it's probably still there if you go into that bookstore. You you it's probably know. It's not. Oh. I don't know what bookstore you're on about. I'm. Um, you know, the one, one in town. He lives in um a different town. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah. the one the Which one you town? go to when you go around this town that we live in. That one, the big one, <laughs> in the big building, in the shopping mall. <laughs> 
How more precise can I get? There's got to be a big book still there. Water stones. Yeah. I mean, it didn't. I mean, a water stones. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was on about. Yeah, it's not there anymore. It's not. Oh, that's that's a shame. Okay, well, uh, rage. You go second. Uh, I don't really read books anymore, but I used to read a lot of um, science fiction. Um, mm. But I read a lot of fanfics now online. Um, well, most of them are Yu-Gi-Oh fanfics. So it's like, yeah, absolutely hilarious. All right. That's cool. Well, so what's your favorite book? My favorite book. <laughs> that is a hard one, actually. What do I do? It's not my good. Personal, um, oh. uh, to kill a mockingbird. Yeah, that sounds that's a pretty that, good that book. Was, that was a really good book. Uh, it was kind of like, I don't know, the storyline, it just seemed to like, like, there wasn't uh, enough just action in there. I mean, uh, when when I read books, I it's uh, mostly because. Oh when I read books, it's mostly because I want, you know, I want the action, the thrill of reading a book. Um, like, the the content of the book has to be interesting, has to be, like, intriguing. And I just didn't find that with uh, with To Kill a Mockingbird. Plus, we, like, we studied it in English as well once, and, and, I, and like, it just lessened the experience. Because it just made it really boring when we, ha when we came to have to analyse it. Uh, but yeah, the so that brings me to basically when I was little, I used to read a lot of horror books. I was into the Goosebumps series. Oh yeah, I yeah, read. Told me about that. Uh, yeah, I used to read those like a lot. Like I'd go through a lot of books like per week, and um, they were really really cool. Like the, the it was just I got this kick out of it whenever there was like this um, real big suspense and like I know I'll list one I remember was uh, say say cheese and die where like the um, it, it's like right now kind of sounds cliche actually but um, like back when I first read it like as a child it was pretty cool like they 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 found this camera which like I think it predicted the future and um whenever they took whenever they took a picture and they'd be like um they they'd take a picture of uh of this family and it was on the on, uh, it was like a polaroid camera so it displayed the picture soon uh like you know soon enough and it showed like this uh that they were all skeletons they like it was just their skeletal systems like saying that they're going to die soon but like you know it sounds it sounds really cheesy now no pun intended sorry um but it is like it was pretty suspenseful back in the day uh as a little kid i guess but right now um i'm into like i don't know like any book cow down oh, yeah no. no sorry i killed him <laughs> yeah um i'm into any book right now i'm into like books about philosophy uh oh, Sometimes religious books interest me, like religious texts. Um, what else? Well, I I read this pretty decent book a while back now. It's called uh, Child 44. I think it was part of a trilogy, but I'm not sure. It's um, It was really, like, when I read that, that was really cool. It was based upon, uh, like, facts about um, the Soviet Empire, and it was about this detective... It was like a, it's kind of like a detective uh, storyline in uh, the Soviet Union. So it was really cool. It was, it was, I was really into that, into the Cold War. In, uh, sorry, Cold War back in the day. Well, so, yeah. Cold War is still interesting to learn about. I mean, well, there's not actually, like, much to learn about the Cold War if you think about it. Well, I mean, there's a lot of... When it goes, when you go into, like, deep analyt and, like deep analysis of the cold war you'll find that there's there's a well that's that's an opinion uh but like basically it's uh, there's a lot of stuff that happened uh as as a result there wasn't just like an arms race that you know they sent off the uh, first man to the moon like satellites and stuff and and uh what else 
well that was that was these different um like the, it wasn't just the Soviet Union and the United States the, there was like other countries as like you know Cuba's a pretty uh pretty easy one to list and and there was a lot of stuff going on there as a result of the the Cold War and the um and the relation that Cuba had to the Soviet Union so it was there was quite a lot of uh these different small events happening uh, but they're all kind of summed up by this large event r- large event that we call the Cold War but yeah Dude, if you could do any better, go on right now. Tell no. me. If... That was actually. That was actually. The spotlight is on you. No spotlight. Okay. Um. I, spotlight. I do. I do think though, like, the as a broad subject, it may be kind of boring. But once you get into like, the the secret stuff, the the top secret stuff with the uh, CIA and stuff, it's uh, it's really interesting. But oh, yeah. Wow. Do we have another countdown? No. No. Oh, okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Uh, well. So, anyone want to talk about anything? Oh yeah, I got Black Rose Dragon. Yeah, you should, got yeah, your yeah. favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card. Yeah, it is the best. So, um, what compels you to Yu-Gi-Oh cards? I want to know. I don't know actually. It's just. I have no clue. They're just interesting. Like, I don't know. Like watching the series as a kid. Just yeah. Just want to collect them. And like you know. there's, uh, there's like kind of ch- childhood nostalgia. Yeah. Yeah, that's understandable. But you know, five D is quite well, quite new, I guess. Like two, three years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's quite recent. Um, but that actually, Jesus, like two thousand and eight. <laughs> but um, I guess watching that it, it made me like learn more about how to play it, and it got interesting. And now I yeah, the cards. that's pretty cool. Like that kid in school. Um, who was it? That really annoying kid that was always standing behind you. He was like. Behind who? He was standing behind you, Coffee. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's not so weird. <laughs> like a guy standing behind a cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> but he put his hand around you. What well, arm around you, um, Taki? Me? Yeah, that kid, that blonde-haired kid. But yeah, that happened. Don't you remember him, Jackie? No. Yeah, I remember him. Yeah, and then he was like, what I think you? um, if he if he finds it obnoxious that people play you gear, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, he shouldn't walk into that room yeah. where there's literally like everyone in there playing you gear. Uh, it's a no brainer. Um, as far as the as far as the like kid. Uh, commenting on why do people play you gear? Well, I think um, like I want. I think this brings me into like trends because trends is a really interesting subject. If you think about it, like yeah, always th- there's always trends that are followed, right? I f- I started playing Yu Gi Oh. Um, I not because I like the series. I'm not really into the series. I'm not really like uh, I'm just I mean I myself don't don't find anything interesting about Yu-Gi-Oh apart from the card game itself like playing it in real life or like on dueling network um I got into it because a lot of people in school were playing it right yeah, it's a trend a well quite a, quite a lot uh, like a, well the the friends I had began playing Yu-Gi-Oh. So okay. so it uh so it compelled me to, you know, buy some cards and like you don't even have to spend a whole lot of money. Like some people spend tons. I didn't spend uh, like literally 
near to nothing if you consider like a collector um really? from a collector's yeah yeah so like rage is a collector and he buys a lot of cards like a lot of the time i might i bought like uh two starting decks i think which cost about like seven pounds was it and then i bought like a uh i think a group of, like d group a deck of 100 from from uh the internet and that's it that's it i spent like 18 pounds in total and it's not you know it's not that expensive you could, you don't even need to spend that much money uh you could you could always just go with what you have um and so what i want to my point is like because it's a trend because if 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 some of the people you know they play the game and they enjoy playing it and they um and it's it's a really cool pastime and it looks like it's fun then there's no reason why you shouldn't uh why you shouldn't give the game a try um and it's not even about like the trading card game like this could this is like everyone follows trends nowadays it's like hairstyles and things and like the the um the clothes people wear or so far the music people listen to like honestly Harlem Shake, that's oh a fucking trend. God. That's that's a that's a so trend. Annoying. That's no, yeah, it's it's annoying. Like whatever, it may be annoying to some people, but there's no denying the fact that it's a trend. It's one of the larger ones out there, really? and it's something people like do when they just when when they see that they're like, oh yeah, I want to do that. And so they get together with some friends and start dancing. But the the thing is that is no different to the trend of playing Yu-Gi-Oh cards because at the end of the day it's it's just that it's just a trend and people might get over it we may right. not be playing Yu-Gi-Oh after a while we might find another interest like chess or some shit right. and yeah, and Yu-Gi-Oh will just diminish but yeah so that's that's basically it's just trends it's like we're we're compelled by nature to follow groups like to follow like packs um and it's just how it goes no doubt about it no doubt about it all right so um i i also want to say me and otaku are gonna start playing some more planet side 2 um we decided on doing like this saturday uh play just you know just playing around on planet side 2 just getting some good footage and uh, hopefully you guys will be entertained so yeah that's 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 about it for planet side two but um yeah that will be coming in the near future anything else anyone's going to be doing in the near future that the audience should know about i'll tell them what they need to know what uh, i'll probably do some videos about um them on a need to know basis on what? Like, um, anything they need to know, I'll tell them. Okay, so like an update video. Yeah. Alright, that's that's fine. <laughs> what about, um, Otaku? Because <gasps> you're going to be doing the Plant Side 2 thing with me, but, um, is there anything else you're going to be doing yourself, or is it just, uh, are we just going to do that for a while now? Uh, I might do a... Let's play on, uh... Um, Blade and so on that comes out. All right, that's cool. When's that coming out? I don't know. <laughs> okay, not a bad start. <laughs> well, uh, it's how long have we been? I think we've been recording for quite like twenty minutes, I'd say. Dude, I see you in this picture. It's funny. Yeah, it's it's called the school photograph. <laughs> You'll see me somewhere in there if we go yeah. to the we go to the same school. Rage. Yeah, I know. I know. Um, Imagine thinking. like the audience genuinely think we're cows, and they think we go to like a cow school. Uh, you know, cow, all cows are girls. Yeah, <laughs> I do. <laughs> That's great. That's funny. Oh well. Yeah, bulls are guys, but we're not gonna let that interrupt. Stop us. Uh, yeah. yeah. We'll be girls if we have to. Um. No, it's not even about that. It's not like 
the female cow thing that's just the female cow the cow thing is just like a thing that happened when we were deciding on the name we just saw that the acronym was cow my voice broke then <laughs> and and so we decided to incorporate that as a bit of comedy just a, just a little bit of comedy into our channel so i hope i hope you guys don't mind the fact that cows are actually all females and imagine if it was bull what would it be if it was bull b u l l um boring under <laughs> i don't know <laughs> born born upon liking uh, liking <laughs> that's pretty good actually born upon liking has nothing to do with the podcast thus thar but not bad <laughs> Thus far. <laughs> I said it with a th. God. Thus far. Sorry. I can't pronounce my th. Th. Thus far. There we go. Thus far. You, did you see uh, the guy's name beginning with P? <laughs> did you see. Uh, uh, per, per, Percy. Did you see Percy? Stop guessing. Stop guessing. Sticking out his teeth. <laughs> You're doing that funny face in the photo. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> um, Max has got his eyes closed. Yeah, yeah, I saw that as well. <laughs> and everyone looks happy, like, with the smile, yeah? Yeah. There's me right at top. Yeah, Max. you look so... <laughs> <laughs> it's just like... In between all the girls. You looked like the picture I drew of you as a cow. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. It's great. Like, on here, I can be smiley and happy. <laughs> I don't want to be. I swear. I, I would be a part. If... Um, but, um, and school is just depressed. I'm just depressed. Cause... You're depressed at school. Well, everyone is, right? Let's talk. Why are you depressed, bruh? Okay. So basically... <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm not I'm still depressed in school. Um, and that has Is it because so because school makes you feel depressed? No, it's because there's way too many people. Too many so, people in school. Yeah. Are you antisocial? Yes, very. That that's explaining it. Well, I think um, being antisocial isn't always a bad. Like I don't consider it a bad thing, because I um. I think sometimes being antisocial is good. Like, the people that are antisocial... Now, I'm not speaking for, like, any huge group here. I'm just saying, like, s certain people that may be antisocial benefit from it more than when they would be, like, social and outgoing. And, um... <clears throat> like, to a certain extent, it also, it also depends on how antisocial you are. Because, like, if you just... If you still go out, you're not completely isolated from the outside world, then um you you know you're kind of like a low antisocial. Just like if you if you if you um stay if you prefer staying at home more and you still but you still go out sometimes. And that's less antisocial, obviously, than people that you know never want to leave their space. You know, um, yeah. yeah. But, um, like, sometimes that's a good thing. I find that if you just uh, just have, like, a day or two... Not a day or two. Just, like, yeah, maybe a day, actually. Of, um, of just not going out anywhere. And, like, that allows you to kind of recuperate, in a way. Because once you go out, there's, like... There's just not the same as when you're inside. Because you're... It's like this kind of radar thing, radar thing, that starts happening. Like you're more aware of your surroundings because you're outside. Yeah, like it always looks HD. <laughs> HD. <laughs> Life is in HD. That's why you don't need it on TV. That rhymed. That yeah. Rhymed. So yeah, uh, that leads me into antisocial being a bad thing as well. <laughs> Thinking that uh, life is in HD, amongst other things. 
I'm not that anti-social. But I think, yeah, like, for me, I'm, uh, I'm uh, more of a stained person. Like, but I wouldn't class myself as anti-social per se. Because, like, I still find that, I still find, uh, it really important to, you know, go outside in the sun, get some vitamin D into yourself. That's healthy for you. It's good for you. Vitamin D. Good for you since whenever humanity developed. Vitamin D absorbent. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I remember I remember once. I think it was like three years ago. I there was it was that summer holiday. I was um I I had GTA San Andreas. It was it was probably the most like it was crazy oh now my gosh. seriously how many times has that happened on the show like three times I three times know. i'd say anyways so i was um i was just playing gta like non-stop like literally i'd wake up at nine it was and i'd just play gta till like you know till six or something Right, with some pee breaks and, like, eating food, which was mainly, like, junk food and stuff I found just in the cupboard. Uh, yeah, I really didn't... I just didn't eat properly. Like, I didn't exercise, no nothing. And then, um... Yeah, and then from six, I'd get, like, a break to do whatever else I'd do. Like, I don't know, I, I played guitar as well. Still do. But, like, I, I was just playing guitar for, like, an hour or two, maybe, and go back on GTA San Andreas. And then, uh, till about 11... And I wake up the next morning at nine and start again, whole thing. And it's like, yeah, it was great. I honestly, like, if I was to connect it to that, like, really isolated person, like, that was me for about, well, not the whole summer holidays. I'd say for about four weeks, four weeks. That was me, just like constantly playing GTA, San Andreas. I think one of my summer holidays, I was inside for the whole time. I, I know. I was inside for the whole time because like there's nothing to do outside. I think you know, as a as a kid, you find it easier to entertain yourself outside. Like you go into the sand pit, yeah. you'll like play with like a a toy car you have, or like you'll play hide and seek with friends and stuff. But as you grow up, like everything just speeds up like to ridiculous extent, to the point where like. If you if your internet connection's slow, you just fu- you just go ape shit like instantly because yeah you you just yeah. don't get it you know you don't get it at the click of a button, then you consider that as too slow, and so like when you go outside, like there's certain times where you know I'm really not feeling like I want to do much, and say I'm walking I'm like walking like to school from school or something. Like, yeah. just the act of walking is just really boring to me. Like, I have to have, like, a... I have to be listening to something, some music, or, like, doing something while walking, because just the... the it's, like, it just becomes boring. Just the physical act of walking, you know what I mean? Yeah. I know it's just mean, the just point we've happens. gotten to. Um, Just, you know, when we decided... Yeah, screw actual, like natural things we have to do because they're too slow it takes too much time you know that's what i think um that's why i think that gta addiction i had was such such a powerful one because you literally like you substituted yourself as uh a cj cj from grove street right you were you were cj from grove street Right, you were living, like you were living the gangster life. You had the, uh, you had Big Smoke. Remember yeah. Big Smoke? Um, so who else was there, Otaku? Yeah, no answer. Okay. Okay. Uh, I remember there was Officer Tenpenny. Oh yeah. The cop. I remember him. Yeah. Uh, there was. I can't remember them. What else? Um... Oh, there was that like really hippie guy. He had like a Volkswagen, and he grew weed. I can't he he had like a red headband, and he had like a check shirt. Ah, uh, 
Never mind. Uh, I can't remember. I can't um, remember. the one with the glasses. What about him? The one with the glasses and the hat. He had curly oh, black hair. Ryder. Ryder, yeah. See, like you, you had like interactions in that game, um, with like people. They had these personalities. It's like it's like pretty much any RPG, to be honest. But like, uh, what what GTA brought it? It was like super based on real life. Because you had food, like you you ate food to regenerate health, and you went to get a haircut. You went to get a freaking haircut, and then you could go, you could go, um, you could go live that kind of criminal life thing. You could, you know, you could go out and steal a car, and you'd get like a one star. <laughs> I remember the one star was so so easy yeah. to get off. And then, and then, the, and then, you know, you got bored of that after a while. You f- you'd finish the storyline, which is really long by itself. You'd finish like the extra quests, side quests, like the ambulance missions and things. You'd finish all that. Mm-hmm. So then you're like, well, this this is pretty much over, right? And then you get introduced into cheats, right? These cheat codes, <laughs> where you could spawn yeah. a freaking jump jet in front of you and like fly it around and crash it in- into the road. Uh, or like you could get uh, you could get the invincibility or some stuff like that, and you, and then that that whole like that whole uh, experience kind of felt refreshed, you know. And then, but the the essence of that game is that you are, but it it basically um, it, it's like an alternate life. You know, it really is an alternate life because although the graphics are nowhere near, you know, up to the standard, um, it is pretty much alternate life where you have the uh, these, you know, these. Uh, it's kind of like n- nothing's really different from the real world except for you know it's in it's in the nineties, but like there's n- there's not much uh, things that are different. Like there's there's cars there's you know no, no crazy stuff it's stuff that's all possible within real life um like these you know like planes and things that they're, they're possible you know uh because yeah. it's such because it's such a uh such a real impre- a real kind of uh i'm looking for the word i was going to say impression Simulate. yeah it's kind of like you know it's it drags you in so yeah. Oh, you mean the one? But it's. Um, that took me a while to. Yeah. <laughs> I think I just rambled half the time there. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I always do that. It's okay. Yeah, but you have the most to say. Yeah. But... We have opinions that are. Yeah, well, I guess. Different. Well, our opinions. <laughs> yeah, different opinions. Yeah, it's good. It's what makes this podcast different opinions. Um, what was your favorite game? As a, as a kid. Yeah, as like uh, let's just say not not as a kid like uh let's put it in within the frame of like five years ago, five years ago before that before that what was your favorite game? So yeah, when I was a kid, basically around well how old am I? Oh, okay, so before eleven years old, um, Star Wars Battlefront two. Star, Star Wars Battlefront two. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that game. Yeah. You've captured the command center. I mean, <laughs> I mean, that game was just so good. Like, the AI was so stupid, though. Like, it's, it's so much better. Yeah, no doubt. That game would still be here. Actually, I could go buy it now. I'm gonna look on eBay. Yeah, it's on Steam, bro. <laughs> you can get it on Steam. It's not that expensive. Right. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, that was yeah. good. I had that on PS2 back in the day. <laughs> It was really cool because if as um if you followed the uh, the movie, which I mean most people probably would have, um, yeah. it's cool because you you got to like be the lesser guys, yeah. you know, you got to be the clone the clone trooper or like the stormtrooper, yeah. um, you got to be part of the you know you weren't you weren't you didn't have to be the hero, you know what I mean. Um, with the class systems of the like clone troopers and stormtroopers and the droids and things, it was like um, they they were you you weren't the main hero, the main hero, 
and so it kind of felt cooler. I don't know. For me, it did, anyways. Yeah, like being a normal soldier. It yeah, felt great. It felt like part of the the uh, struggle, I guess. Yeah. Of like yeah, the you, you the little people. Uh, <laughs> part of this war. Yeah. Yeah. That as a kid, that's re- that's got some crazy like, that's really empowering if you think about that. As a kid, like you've got this game, you have access to this game which allows you to be part of this like, war machine that's virtu- like virtually created, and that that's kind of crazy if you think about it. Like from a from an objective yeah. point of view, it's um. You just get you just go back from school like primary school, you're like yeah I'm just gonna I'm just gonna kick some ass on Battlefront two, <laughs> I'm a clone trooper now, <laughs> you oh, know man, and game. and you're just like eating fizz pop and stuff, I don't know, in real life. Dude, how much is it on um, Steam? Uh, it was something really really cheap. I think it's like a f- five pounds or something. I'm not sure. Dude, it... it really wasn't it really wasn't expensive. I'm really like considering on getting that. It's, oh my god! Yeah. Oh, wait. I need to make another Steam account because my other one is <laughs> down. I have it, but yeah, I I don't I think, use it that often. I think if we all get um Star Wars Battlefront too, hmm. it'll, it'll just be absolutely hilarious. I'll be the sniper again. Oh, is the sniper in games? What is this? Um. What did I use? I think I was a jet trooper. <laughs> yeah, I really enjoyed the uh, the experience of flying. That's always that like I, I yeah, I always try to run like jetpack people. I know it just feels cooler. Like you have this advantage <laughs> when you really don't. It's the game's really balanced. It's the same with Planet Side Two. Like I know jetpacks, they kind of help you get around there. Yeah, I guess. Wait, it's kind of, um, you could, you feel really like really sluggish when you go down onto the ground and you're like running. I'm like God. <laughs> why why can't my jetpack be on full energy now? Energy level, whatever the fuck you call it. It's over nine thousand. Over nine thousand. Right, I, I think after this um podcast, we um I'm gonna set up another Steam account and get it because. And then mm. we can all video it. Yeah. Yay, happy times. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> happy times. Videoing that place. Uh, I'm doing pretty well with the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean series. I'm really enjoying it right now. Who are you playing as now? Uh, you know, it's different. It switch every mission? Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. Like, because uh, one aspect of the game I like is the fact that there's different character switches like you could just have in one mission in one you know quest one section of a storyline you could be like three different characters which is really cool and um something uh i actually tried off alright uh, yeah something something i tried off of off camera off camera off of uh youtube is I did. I went into challenge mode, is what it's called, and it actually has a multiplayer option. It's it's really hard to believe with this game, but it does have a multiplayer option. I mean, I doubt anyone in the world's playing it, but it'd be cool if we could get, um, like if we could get the viewers. Uh, once we get a bunch of viewers that could, you know, can play. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> Then we'll we could probably like set up a multiplayer game because it'll be it'll be just us. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. If we can do that, um, it's just wishful thinking at at this point. But yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, Samo, we probably could do it. (laughs) Um, but yeah, you get you unlock these characters during the campaign, and I was wondering like when can I actually use these characters? Like they don't pop up in the campaign, and uh, it's challenge mode. Like where you get to use them, and there's there's different ones. Like they have this this really cool system which I'm really bad at, but it's called the Jackanism, and it's basically like these keys you have to press in sync in order to complete 
like this uh, kind of sequence. Did you play Kingdom Hearts? Yes. Yeah. Do you remember in Kingdom Hearts you had to like press a certain like whenever the button showed up you had to press that button yeah. to complete yeah yeah to complete the a chain kind of thing. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. it's it's really similar to that. But what's really really annoying is that the key bindings are not displayed as the symbols. So you don't get like you don't so the the different uh like the different slashes with the sword is uh keys z x and c but on the in the game it shows up as like this sword with a yellow spark this sword with a red spark like it's really unclear what key it is and um and so i found it really hard at the beginning to complete these because i never knew what the uh what the key bindings were i just found it really really obnoxious but i guess you could get past that but yeah i'm doing pretty good pretty good right now with the series, um, so yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's okay. Dude, I found out how much Star Wars Battlefront Two costs. Mm. Uh, six pound forty-nine. Ah, oh, I wasn't far off. Yeah, that's not, it's not actually a lot. The whole game is it? Is it the whole game? Yeah, I imagine. Like campaign and everything. Um, yeah, most probably. Yeah, it better be. <laughs> <laughs> it better be. Because, oh my god, The audience is probably like face palming, but I'm gonna say it anyways. How you, uh, how you, what do you think about the microphone? Is it good quality? Like, um, um it, is the it, audio it, there's quality? No, there's no fuzziness or anything like that. Yeah, that's why, I, like, I'm happy about is the fact because the other one it had this fuzziness like constantly in the background but this one it's not so much so I'm happy so that was uh, episode 12 guys I hope you enjoyed this episode and look forward to the next episode obviously next Wednesday um, and before uh, and of course in that time before the next Wednesday we're gonna have uh, me and Otaku Cow uh, playing Planet Side Two on Saturday, and uh, and then Rage Cow is gonna probably do a maybe do a Battlefront Two uh, playthrough if he get if he can get a hold of it. So all right, thanks for listening, guys, and look forward to the next episode next Wednesday. See you till then. Yeah.